use of this application paint to project a to design a traffic light. Now, watch the step. To draw a traffic light, you need a rectangle. Now we start manipulating our tools. I do tell my student that all that exist on earth are being designed or created with shapes. So let's quickly make use of let's manipulate these shapes to bring out our desired design, which is what traffic light. Now let's click on rectangle and project a portrait rectangle. Can you see that? This is a portrait rectangle. Now that is that. Now can you see the outline? We have the outline thickness here. You can change the outline thickness. Can you see it's can you see that the the, the, uh, the the rectangle keep changing the, the, the size of its outline. Now let's click on this 8 PS. Now you can also change the color of your outline by clicking on this color one is on black and you can see the outline is black and you can also change it by clicking on other colors let's click on gray color now it has been effected and that's that now and there's something you have to take note on look at this speaker you can also call it highlight the, your, your drawing highlights now look at this speaker. Once it, this speaker is, once you can't see this speaker on your drawing again, you cannot edit your drawing. But when you are, you can still access the speaker. You can adjust your drawing or otherwise change the size, change the font. Sorry, change the the outline size and also fill it with color. Let me click out. Can you see? We can't find the the the, um, the picker again. Whereby we are unable to change the properties of the image without that picker. Now let's quickly click on undo. Now we have the undo redo. Now this is our image. Or let's take it off and project another image. Now you click on select. Look at this, our, our background color is white. Once it's white, you can delete your image and still retain the background white. Now let's, let me let me quickly. Now look at this. I only selected some part, part of the rectangle, which I'm going to click on delete. Now let's click on the, my right click, and I have option delete here. Let me click on delete. Can you see that the background has been changed to red? The selected part of the drawing space has been changed to red. So this is where you have to take notes. Make sure your background color is always at white or always at default white color. Now let's quickly take it off by selecting the part and press delete again. Okay? And that's that. Now, let's project another portrait rectangle. Portrait rectangle. Now, let's click on rectangle. You click, then you drag your mouse down. Now, that's, that's okay. Now, we need a black background now let's let's click on the color two and change it to black once you change it to black you click on fill fill your drawing with solid color now click on let's click on solid color automatically the the, the, the rectangle has been filled with black color and that's it i made an adjustment by clicking the cursor by moving my cursor to this edge whereby I can hold my left click and drag the rectangle up and you can also make use of that by clicking on it the, the 
the, the side and also drag. And that is how to adjust the size of your chip. Now let's quickly draw an oval to project the light of. Now let's draw. Is an oval with a gray outline with now that's that's the outline I selected gray outline because you can see our color color one is on gray now let's quickly change that's the, the black color you know our default color now is color two is now black and we have black on the oval the oval is filled up with black color now let's change it to red can you see that it has been changed to red that's the red light now let's make use of let's project another oval and that's it that's another oval you can also replicate your drawing by clicking on Control C and paste it on your desired location by clicking on what Control V to paste. Or you can also make use of your right click or right click options. And that's it. Let's change this red. You can see we have red. The oval is filled up with red background. Now let's change it to yellow. Now that's yellow. Now let's quickly project the third light light. Now you project your oval again. Oh, what a mess! Now undo. When you make a mistake, you can simply undo to take you back to the last operation. Now let's adjust this a little bit up. And adjust the, the, the location now let's click on oval again now let's project the third light can you see we still have the the oval field with yellow whereby you can change that to color green now let's click on green now we have the three traffic lights now we need to project the angle of the stand of the traffic light. You make use of your rounded rectangle. Click on your, your left click on your rounded triangle shape. Click and drag. Click and drag to the left, to the right side. And that's it. Now you change your color. Let's get that back to black, the, the background color to be black. Now, a little bit adjustments. Now we have that. Good. Now let's project another rounded, rounded rectangle. Can you see that? We have another. Design uh, another chip here, and you can just make some simple cut off here. Now, this is how you do that. You can make use of your eraser if you know how to do that, if you know how to use it, or simply click on is it a rectangle or rounded rectangle or rectangle. Now, you you change your outline to black, then your field color, your color to your background color to black, and make a simple projection here to cut off, to cut off that outline. Now let's make another triangle here. We still have a little bit outline here now. Good. Now it has been deleted by drawing another shape on it. Now this is a traffic light. 
make use of your select all to select your image now let's click on rectangle selection to crop a, a design now this is only portion i needed now you click on that and you click on this command crop or you simply depress your short key control shift x now let's make use of the, the ribbon i command crop and you see that now we have a traffic okay let's take okay we have a traffic light now that is how to draw a simple graphics using simple graphics design application and the, the application we use to project this is called paint as i've told you before now let's click on see so we've saved 